Hey there guys, this is Neil from Gamify, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to track your gamification campaign in Gizmo. Hey there guys, thanks again for tuning in to another Gamify tutorial. In this quick video, just like I said in the intro, I'm going to show you how to check out the statistics and analytics of the game you have uh, hosted on your website. I'm going to go through Gizmo, Wix, and Shopify, but to get started, I'm going to show you a quick example of um, a Gizmo game being uh, hosted on an external website. So we're on our gamify.com uh, website here on the video game library page. And um, if you've been to this page, you've probably seen already, um, but every now and then we change the game and we've, uh, we've, we put a game behind this button here that pops up and it's being hosted in a pop-up iframe. And uh, as you play, uh, you guys know you collect points and you can you get an opportunity to pop your name in. If you're in the top five, we've set it up so that the top five are displayed in this real-time leaderboard, which um, which refreshes refreshes as uh, people beat those scores. Um, so there's a bit of context. Now, if I wanted to see the analytics for uh, for this game in particular, I'm going to jump on into Gizmo. And, and then I'm going to navigate to where that game is. So it's Bolarama. I'm going to click into it. And then I've got all my analytics placed right here. So my total plays, that runs over a bit of a histogram there. Um, the average play time, uh, the, the total minutes uh, played. Your engagement rate is shown in your game completion um, pie chart just here. Being bowling, not many people uh, get through it. We're seeing a 23.8% uh, completion rate there just because bowling is a bit of a longer game. Um, you could probably bet that if you put a, a shorter game on your website, you'd see a higher increased rate, um, especially if there's if there's incentives uh, or vouchers or anything to kind of win. You get your unique players here, as well as uh, a bunch of uh, buttons here to edit, pause, delete, or actually just play the game if you want to check it. Um, you then get your social shares. Now with this campaign in particular, we weren't really pushing social shares, but if you're running a social sharing, uh, more of a campaign, um, you'll see these numbers uh, increase. Uh, you'll then get a bunch of information like, you know, the campaign information, what is the name of it? Uh, what company is it under? Um, when does the campaign start? When does it end? And uh, who owns it? So I've set it up. You can then filter the results. So if you wanted to know, okay, this day seemed to be really good for sales and leads, you can filter down and see if the game, uh, what were the performing um, stats. You've then got all your um, all your little tab uh, menu items up here. So if you wanted to, you could check out entries and all your uh, form submissions will be displayed right there. And that's all running in the background of this game right here. Now, when you're using Wix, it's a little bit more simplified because everything is hosted within the Wix um, ecosystem. So what we've got here is I've just set up a game and it's, it doesn't have many plays just because I've thrown it up, uh, but it's had six total plays. And if I wanted to see those six players in statistics, go ahead and click this um, settings cog icon, click view statistics. And again, you can filter down those results. You can see the total uh, engagement time, um, as well as if I had a form submission uh, opportunity on that game, you can see uh, that data and export it for your um, external uses. Very much the same on Shopify. If we jump over to that page as well, it's almost identical. You just jump in, click this um, settings cog. Again, I've just set up this game, so there's no real um, plays yet, but go ahead and click this button here. View statistics. You can reward your winners um, as well. That I can play, uh, pop another video up for that kind of stuff. Go into view. Again, you can filter it down. You can see all of your players show up here, your average engagement, um, as well as your top players and your form submissions and export that data. And that, that sums it up, guys. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out either through YouTube or jump on our website, give us an email. Uh, we'll do our best to get back to you. And uh, if not, uh, have fun with it and enjoy using our app. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember to have fun with it.